What is going on guys, it's Kai here and welcome to another how to cop video for the upcoming Jordan 1 High OG Patent Breads. Now these will be releasing on the 30th of December and I can guarantee these will be raking in a lot of profit. So don't miss out any of the details. We'll be going through the how to cop guide, everything you need to know about this shoe, where you're going to get this shoe, resale predictions, hold or sell, everything you need to know will be compact into this short, small video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Let's smash 4,000 subscribers in the upcoming months and let me know what you think about this shoe. So 30th of December, the retail of this shoe is £145 and you can expect resale price to be over the £250 mark. That's over a £100 profit per pair on this release and you will be going for multiples and everything you can possibly do to get multiple pairs, you want to be doing this for this pair of shoes. It's a classic OG red and black bread colorway and also as it's patent, it's got the shiny kind of color to it as well. Now this is a very OG shoe and I'm not joking, people will be going crazy for this shoe. It's going to be a hard cop to get, however let's get into details of how you're actually going to cop this shoe and how you're going to increase your chances. First of all, the best bet will be on the sneakers app on the 30th December at 8am. Essentially what this is is they open a drawer and you will enter your accounts into this drawer and hope for the best and you'll most likely get hit with the didn't get them on seekers. However, there are ways around things to get multiple entries, multiple unique entries and make sure all of your entries are actually the best they could be and they are not getting filtered. This leads us on to my cook group. If you guys would like to join my cook group, we top link down in the description below. It's £15 a month that we teach you everything you need to know about sneaker reselling. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're an intermediate, whether you're a pro and you really want to expand your reselling business, we are here to help you and give you that kickstart with everything you need to know. This includes investment information, brick flips, how to cops, resale predictions, in-depth guides, botting help, any questions you have relating to sneaker reselling, we have it all within this group. So for only £15 a month, we top link down in the description below, guys, if you guys would like to join. Our members have been absolutely killing it recently, making thousands of profit, even in the last week. I'll pop up some success on this screen. However, let's not waste any more time and get to you guys how you're going to cop these patent breads. You may have noticed that less retailers have actually got this shoe than we think. This is because there has been a big delay. Places like Foot Locker have been delayed and there actually isn't many raffles up for this shoe. However, you can definitely expect raffles from End, SNS, Size Launches. These will all be upcoming raffles below. Your cook group should have a full list of raffles to enter, including mine, if you guys would like to join, obviously. However, I'm not going to list them all off in the video because that is just purely boring. But yeah, your main retailers, such as the ones I said before, and many more will be releasing the shoe. And again, enter as many counts as possible and go for this shoe as many times as you can. Again, profit is mental. You cannot complain about the profit margins. Now, whether to the best sizes, I do recommend sizes 8 to 12, maybe even 10 plus of the bigger sizes, just because of the pure fact this is an OG colorway, OG men's colorway. Your collectors will want this, so that's why I recommend going for 10 plus. These might not be the highest in resale, may not be the highest in resale. However, they're going to be your easiest to get because these be the most stocked up and produced sizes. These will also be the easiest to sell because a lot of people are sizes 8 to 12, so they'll be easier to move. So in my opinion, I'll be definitely going for 8 to 12, and I'll be going for multiple, multiple pairs. In terms of first come, first serve sites, you can definitely expect Foot Locker to get these, hopefully. They are scheduled to release them on January the 7th where we will provide slots and ACO within the group. You can expect Offspring to drop these and I, to be honest I would not expect Mesh like JD Sports to have these either. However Foot Locker and Offspring and maybe a couple other sites such as Kith will get these for first come first serve and that is where your botting is going to come in. Manual is going to be near impossible for first come first serve sites. Um, so if you are botting there your sites to aim for but if you're manual definitely go for as many raffles as you can because there's going to be your best chances of copying this in terms of in-store, I do not think many in-store places will get these. Maybe your main cities and such as Foot Locker and Offspring. However, it's going to be a very, very hard cop. Size launches will also get these on raffle. They may get them in-store. However, I highly doubt it. This will most likely be a raffle even if they did. Now, moving on to a hold or sell for this shoe. Now, it's pretty obvious. It's a good Jordan 1 colorway. It's an OG colorway. It's a bread colorway. It's definitely going to be a very good hold in my opinion. I would be holding these for super long term though because this is going to be a collector's item so in years time this shoe is going to be valued 
to so much higher than it is now. If I personally get pairs, I'll be holding every single pair possible for the longest time possible. I'm talking over a year. However, I would recommend at least six months when holding onto this shoe because a lot of stock will probably be released. So you want to hold it. You want to get these people selling them. You want to get people wearing them, get the less uh, DS pairs on out of the market. So yours will stand out to the most and this will increase a resale value. And hopefully over time, this will increase the influx of the price. That's why I think six months is a good time because it just gives that time to the supply to basically gives the time for the demand to kind of overcome the supply, which will increase the value of the shoe. In terms of looks of the shoe, it's an absolutely beautiful shoe. And I can definitely expect a lot of people wanting this shoe just for even personal, which is always good for the resale price as well. If you want more in-depth guides and help with anything to do with sneak reselling or PS5s or anything you need to know about reselling, top link down in the description below, guys, if you guys would like to join. And hopefully I'll see you within the group with many others in there as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know how you get on about this release. Let me know what you think about this shoe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.